Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about data analysis. Like what it is and why it is important. You might have heard of this term data analysis, data analysis more nowadays days. Like because it is the most popular term nowadays. Uh, as you can also see there is a hike in a job profile called data analyst or business analyst. So today we'll be dis discussing all that. So firstly, what is data? Whenever we are browsing something, whenever we are uh, surfing over internet or anything, we are actually consuming data, we are using data. So basically data is everywhere nowadays. Like with each passing year, the amount of data we are producing will continue to increase nowadays there is a large amount of data available but what do we do with all that data how is it all used and what does all that data mean to answer each and every question data analysts use tools and processes to drive meaning from that data data analysts are basically responsible for collecting manipulating, investigating, analyzing, gathering insight and gaining knowledge from it. This is one of the reason that data analysts are very high in demand nowadays and they and they play an integral role in business and science. As we were talking about what is data, as it is mentioned over here that data is a collection of facts and pieces of information and that data is important for decision making. Analyst analyze that data and help in a decision making process now what type of data is available like there are two types of data qualitative and quantitative qualitative is a data that is expressed in non numeric characters like it is expressed in images videos text document or audios this this type of data cannot cannot be measured or counted it is used to determine how people feel about something it's about people's feeling motivation opinion perception and involves biasness it is descriptive uh, like qualitative data is descriptive and it is used in answering a questions like why how what all these questions are to be answered using the qualitative data now second type of data is the quantitative data what is the quantitative data as the term suggests quantitative that means numerical characters which are countable measurable and comparable it is amount of numbers and involves things such as quantity and the average of numbers if we are uh, answering the questions through the quantitative data the questions would be like how much how many how often and how long and the act of collecting analyzing and interpreting quantitative data is known as statistical analysis now what is data analysis we have studied data what is data what are the types of data available and now we'll be considering what is actually data analysis so basically data analysis is is an act of turning raw messy data into useful insights by cleaning the data transforming it manipulating it and inspecting it the insights gather from the data then presented virtually in the form of charts graph or dashboards so uh, when we analyze that data that is to be presented in a graphical form or in the form of uh, like a storytelling so that that we can understand what is actually data is saying through the help of data analysis only we can identify and predict trends and figure out patterns correlations and relationships in the available data and finding solution to complex problems so next why data analysis is important as you can see that there is written data is equals to knowledge why 
because we have already discussed that through data we can extract the insights like how the business is performing how uh, what are the patterns that is to be followed what are the pros and cons and we'll be studying more in detail why data analysis is important as it is written that uh, it can be useful and greatly beneficial for every department whether it's administration accounting logistic marketing design or engineering to name a few like there are so many department that are using this data analysis and it is the integral part nowadays in every business now let's discuss about some areas in which data analysis is actually helping first is data analysis improves customer targeting by analyzing data you understand your competitors and you will be able to match your product or service to a current market needs uh, it also help in determining the appropriate audience and demographic suited for our product or service once the data analysis is performed you will also be able to create more targeted campaigns and known what method and form of adver- advertisements to be used to reach your audience directly and effectively knowing the right audience for your product or service will transform your whole strategy that means it will become more customer oriented and customized to fit every need of our customer you will also be able to make sure that your product a service help solve a problem for a customer also this is especially important in the product development phase since it cut down expenses and saves time now the another reason why data analysis is important is because it helps in measuring success and performance because by analyzing the data you can identify the stronger areas and the weaker areas so that you can work on that particular part and you can strengthen your product or service being provided to a customer and you can also predict that what areas might face a problem due to the actual problem being occurring and with the analysis of the data you can also determine what you should focus on more and less in the in the future basically with the help of uh, analyzing the data and the performance maps we can set goals and identify the potential opportunities available now the another reason why data analysis is important is that it helps in solving a problem more effectively by performing data analysis on a relevant correct and accurate data you will be able to understand what choices to be made and how to make that particular choice and which will ultimately result in a better decision making okay let's take an example that if you are working and if you own a business and your business is growing but if you start analyzing the data it will grow even further because of the effective strategy that we can imply because of the analysis to be performed on the data it will also help reach its put- full potential and meet different goals such as boosting customer retention finding new customers or providing a smoother and more pleasant customer experience so this will help in growing your business more and more now let's discuss about what is the data analysis process and what steps are included in this the first step in the data analysis process is setting a clear objective before thinking of collecting a large amount of data it is important to think why you are actually performing the data analysis like we'll be answering we'll be creating some questions why data analysis is important for a business we can frame some questions like what problems are you trying to solve what is the purpose of this data analysis what are you trying to do what do you want to achieve 
what is the end goal what do you want to gain from this analysis and so on so basically to understand business more efficiently to analyze data more firstly we need to understand what are business goals and what and why data need to be analyzed now the next step is to identify what type of data we want to collect whether it is qualitative as we have discussed non numeric data or quantitative which is the numeric data once we are aware of what type of data we need we can look for the relevant resources like we can view the results of user group survey form questionnaire internal document or interviews that have already been conducted in the business or we can collect the data by viewing customer reviews and feedbacks on customer satisfaction we can also look into transaction and purchase history records such as sales and financial figure reports created by finance or marketing department we can use a customer relationship management system that is available we can monitor social media engagement we can track commonly searched keywords and queries and so on and this is how we collect the raw data now the third step is the cleaning of the data once you have gathered all the data from multiple resources it is important to structure that data it is important to check if you have gathered all the data you need and if any crucial data is missing or not if you have used multiple sources of the data your data likely be unstructured and as we have mentioned that unstructured and raw data is not useful in the process now we have to clean that data we have to correct the er- errors we have to polish that data and also we have to sort what data we all need data cleaning also includes like uh, fixing typos as i have already mentioned and looking for the outliers outliers means the values which are unusually big or small removing duplicate data and so on once we have cleaned the data the next step is to analyze the data the data will be analyzed based upon the questions that we have mentioned in the step 1 like what when all that questions based upon the type of question there are different type of analysis that you can search more about based upon the different type of questions there are different type of data analysis techniques if you are asking a question like what happened that means we are talking about the descriptive data so we'll be using descriptive analysis and the another one is when we ask why this happened that means we need to diagnose why so there is diagnostic analysis the third one is what is likely to happen in future that means predictive analysis and once we have a uh, question the above questions there might be a question like what need to be done that is prescriptive analysis once we have identified the questions in the step 1 and collected the raw data for all that and clean that data in the step 3 and analyze the data based upon the questions in the step 1 the last step is sharing that results what we have analyzed what we have received from the data being analyzed and this is usually done by creating reports chart graph or dashboards like we'll be using data visualization tools to create all that there are different type of tools data visualization that we can use like tableau power bi and many more and we'll be presenting this data we'll be presenting this results of our data analysis to stakeholder business executives and many other decision makers if you are looking for a job in the field of data analysis that means you you want to be a data analyst you should be a great sol- storyteller which means you should have strong communication skills so basically data analysts are very good storytellers so they showcase their findings and presents the result in a clear conceive and straightforward way by taking the data and creating a narrative
this is the most important step that will influence decision making now since we are discussing about the data analysis let's consider what skills are required to become a data analyst the most important skill is the maths and stats one should be aware one should be good in mathematics and statistics the another skill is sql and relational database programming language you should be aware of any one programming language which might be python or r which are two most common uh, programming languages used in analysis next you should be aware of the data visualization tools like i have mentioned power bi or tableau any of the data visualization tools and last the knowledge of microsoft excel if you want to analyze data at a very basic level you need a excel if you want to present that in the form of very interactive dashboards or graphs you might need data visualization tools thank you so much if you have any questions related to the same please comment below thank you